Good morning students. In the last class we discussed the turn on switching characteristics of SCR. Today we will discuss the turn off switching characteristics of SCR. From the figure it is clear that switch is in the on state. When the switch is on, current is there, voltage becomes forward voltage drop, very low value. Now we have to change the switch from on state to off state. Turn off switching characteristics means characteristics of a switch when it changes from forward conduction state to forward blocking state. Once the thyristor is switched on or in other words anode current is above the latching current, the gate loses control over it. That means gate circuit cannot turn off the device. Therefore, commutation circuits are required to turn off the SCR. The process of turning off the SCR is known as commutation. For turning off the SCR, some conditions has to be satisfied. First one is Anode current IA must fall below the holding current IH. Also, due to the presence of charge carriers in the four layers of P, N, P, N. This one is J1, J2, J3. This one is anode and cathode. Also, due to the presence of charge carriers in the four layers, even if the anode current is less than holding current, the SCR is still in the on state. So we have to remove the charge carriers from the four layers. Therefore, the second condition is apply a reverse voltage. Apply a reverse voltage for a sufficient duration to remove the energy possessed by the charge carriers. On the basis of removing charge carriers from the four layers, turn off time of SCR can be divided into two regions. First one is reverse recovery time and second one is gate recovery time. The reverse recovery time means it is the interval in which charge carriers remove from outer P layer and N layer when we apply reverse voltage. So using suitable commutation method we are going to turn off the SCR. So commutation we already discussed. Commutation is the process of turning off the SCR. When the switch changes from its on state to off state, current falls and the voltage increases. Anode current decreases and the anode voltage increases. Therefore, the anode current falls to zero. That is, first condition is satisfied. Means, anode current should be less than the holding current. Here at time T1 anode current is 0. So using suitable commutation method we are turning off the SCR. At time T1 the anode current falls to 0 and it will continue to increase in the reverse direction. It will continue to increase in the reverse direction. This negative current will help to sweep out the charge carriers from the outer P and N layers. At instant T2, about 60% of charge carriers are removed from the outer P and N layers. The carrier density across the junction J1 and J3 begins to decreases and with this 
anode current also start decay the value of current at t2 is called reverse recovery current this magnitude is called reverse recovery current due to the rapid decreasing of anode current a reverse spike of voltage may appear across the ccr like this a reverse voltage appears across the ccr this one is t3 the total recovery time that is t1 to t3 is called reverse recovery time t r r represented as t r r reverse recovery time after removing all the charge carriers from junction j1 and j3 during reverse recovery time there is still charge carriers present in the inner n and p layers that is at junction j2 this trapped charge carriers can be removed by recombination only and the interval in which this recombination is done is called gate recovery time this recombination is possible if a reverse voltage is maintained across the ccr the time for recombination of charges between t3 and t4 t3 and t4 is called tgr known as gate recovery time after all the charge carriers are removed the current goes to positive value here also voltage goes to positive value the total time trr plus tgr is known as tq tq means thyristor turn off time the thyristor turn off time tq is applicable to an individual ccr in actual practice ccr form a part of a power circuit the turn off time provided to the ccr by the practical circuit is called circuit turn off time tc so in case of circuit turn off time characteristics represented by dotted line so this portion indicate circuit turn off time tc so this one is tc circuit turn off time that is from t1 to t5 so this one is tq device turn off time and this one is tc circuit turn off time so this is the turn off characteristics of ccr thank you